What's up you guys? Toys Craze here doing another action figure review on the McFarlane Toys TC Multiverse Wonder Woman 1984 movie action figure. So without further ado, let's go. So before we open the figure, let's take a look at the packaging. So let's take a close up look at it. So we got an awesome see-through plastic. Uh, this is basically a standard McFarlane Toys action figure packaging. So, I mean, if you guys are McFarlane Toys uh, fans, you guys probably know the drill. Uh, see-through plastic where you can see the action figure and all the items that come with it and the collector card and the stand as well. We got DC Multiverse Wonder Woman here and then on the bottom really nothing too much. On the side we got a DC Multiverse logo and then Wonder Woman and then Wonder Woman 1984. And then on the back we got a picture of the Wonder Woman 1984 collectible card. And then we got a bunch of other pictures of the collectible cards for the other figures from this wave or from this McFarlane toys. And then on the side we got another uh, same thing, Wonder Woman and then DC Multiverse logo right here. And then on the top, we got another view of the see-through plastic. And then we got right here, the 22 moving parts, obviously in the McFarlane Toys logo. So really nothing else, too much left to the box. So let's go and get this thing open. So here are all the items that came with the Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman 1984 McFarlane Toys action figure. So let's go check it out. So first up, we got an absolutely awesome collectible card of Wonder Woman 1984 from, well, Wonder Woman from Wonder Woman 1984, uh, Gal Gadot. Pretty awesome. Looks really good. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but she's a really good Wonder Woman, and yeah. But we got an awesome uh, image of her, uh, or the awesome collectible card. And then we got on the back, we got a bio of her, and then her source, where she's from, basically what movie this is from, and real name, and her height as well. Pretty cool. And then next up, we got absolutely awesome lassos. This is actually pretty good, not gonna lie. The texture really is nice. Like, it's this feels like a real rope. Pretty nice. And then we got a different type of rope right here, the Lasso of Truth. Uh, pretty awesome. I do like it. It actually, this one, this actually looks pretty good. The texture is nice. Uh, and the way it is, is just good. Honestly, I like it. And then we got a standard DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys stand as well. That's it for all the items that came with this figure. So now, for the moment you all have been waiting for, let's go check out the figure. <laughs> And here we have it, the Wonder Woman 1984 McFarlane Toys action figure, looking absolutely awesome. I actually did watch this movie recently, um, I literally, me and my family just got a free trial and we just watched it. I don't want to spoil anything, uh, but, so I'm just going to make it uh, simple. I honestly don't really know if I really liked it, I'm kind of mixed about it. It was a little bit too much when she started flying on the clouds, I don't know if I really liked that part, it was kind of a little bit too much when it got towards the end. But I'm not, I don't really want to say anything else because I don't really want to spoil it for all of you who haven't watched it. But I don't really know. Like, it was, it was, it got to a point where it was a little bit too much in my opinion. But other than that, it was a great movie and I really did enjoy it. And yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good movie in general. But, you know, could have been a little bit better. But this figure looks awesome. So let's go and check it out. So right here, the hair... The hair looks good. The hair definitely looks good. Like the the blend of the brown and like the type of white color looks really, really good on the hair. Um, and then the head sculpt actually looks better than I thought it would. Actually looks a lot like Gal Gadot. So again, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, but it really does look a lot like her. And it does really, really look good. And all this red paint, this shiny red paint that they used on the... Uh, armor right here looks really really good like right here and the shiny gold as well uh, across the Wonder Woman action figure looks really really good as well and yeah and also she does have like a type of hitch on her belt where you can attach like the lasso of truth right on so we'll go check it out later but anyways it looks pretty awesome if you guys do want a side-by-side -side comparison of the Wonder Woman 1984 McFarlane Toys action figure to the Wonder Woman 1984 from the movie or what this, this figure was trying to portray here you go so Pretty nice, honestly. They did do a pretty good job with everything, and it does really look like her. Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look too bad, actually. It looks way better than I thought it would be, and the likeness of her head sculpt actually looks really good. They definitely did better than, like, a uh, previous figure that I actually reviewed was a uh, Captain Marvel, Ma Marvel Legends action figure, and man, that head sculpt did not look anything like Brie Larson. Like, that head sculpt was completely off. But this one, McFarlane Toys did a little bit better on portraying the actor, this looks a little bit like Gal Gadot. It looks more like her. Um, and does look, it just looks pretty good. The likeness is, you can, you, it, it's getting there. Like, you can see it. You can see it, though. It definitely looks like her. A little bit. You know, 
you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe not too much, but I think they did do pretty well with the likeness. But anyways, the armor, the paint, the paint job, this looks pretty good. I mean, is there any signs of wearing like anywhere? I don't know. I mean, yeah, everything, the boots look good. The feet look good. I mean, the hand looks good. I mean, the arms look good. And yeah, the head sculpt looks good. Every, the figure actually looks pretty good. Like, like they did a good job with the paint job. And no signs of wearing, like, really anywhere, which is pretty surprising, actually. Uh, there's actually a little bit of chafing or, like, type of paint coming off on the hand. But that's okay. I think it's all right. Uh, but that's basically it. It was actually, this actually surpassed my uh, expectations for this figure by a landslide. But, yeah, I mean, I really am surprised a lot about this figure. Like, this is way better than I thought it would be. But now, let's go check out articulation. So let's start off with the head. So the head can't really look up too far because of the hair that's blocking it, but it can look down about that far and move all, all around as well. And a slight type of swivel right there as well. The arms can move outward about that far with the butterfly joints right there. Double jointed elbows, pretty awesome. Can move in about that far, nice. The hands move all around and can move in about that far and out about that far wonderful and then let's see the torso the torso moves all around and can crunch forward about that far and crunch back about that far uh the double jointed knees move in about that far and the uh legs or the feet move all around and the toes move up and down as well so that is it for articulation Pretty, pretty awesome. And also, oh yeah, biceps move all around as well. So that is it for articulation. Pretty good in terms of articulation for this figure. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Not going to lie. It's looking pretty good so far. So now we're going to check out how these lassos fit on to her belt and how she holds this lasso. Let's, so let's go and check it out. So right here, we got it. And let's just see. So let's just see this one. And we put it on our belt right here on this hitch right here. And look at that. Looking absolutely awesome. Really, really cool how it looks. It just kind of adds that finishing touch to the figure. And now for this one. I think we just have to make her hold it like that. Something like that. Oh, okay, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if I really did that right. Okay, wait. Maybe this part. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that looks good. <laughs> Not me. I don't know about this one. <laughs> I mean, the lasso looks all right. I think they did. I think they did a pretty good job with it. But yeah, I mean, this 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 lasso looks good. But I don't know so much about this one. They both look good though. But I feel like this one's a lot better. It just looks. It just adds the finishing touch. But yeah, just in case you guys were wondering how she uses that lasso, there you go. So in the end, McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Wonder Woman 1984 action figure was an amazing figure, and I really would recommend it to all of you DC Multiverse fans. All of you DC fans, all of you Justice League fans, all of you action figure fans, all of you guys. I would recommend this figure as it's a really, really good figure and probably the most affordable figure uh, or for, uh, probably the most affordable Wonder Woman figure you guys can get on the market that's actually good. So I really would uh, appreciate it if you guys, if you guys are interested in this figure, I would really appreciate it if you guys would go and buy this through the link below. I would really appreciate that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have been giving me. Um, and like I just said, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful. If you guys did find this review helpful and enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss another video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.